No tea. Today is not going to work. I've got to go get some. Back with supplies. Whilst that's boiling, here's what I've been up to this week. So it's Saturday morning. Uh, Mrs. F's gone into town to watch a play. Uh, I uh, was meant to have a gig tonight, but that's not happening anymore. Uh, so I'm going to entertain myself. I'm going to go and watch the rugby this afternoon. So I woke up feeling pretty creative this morning, actually, playing about with some bits, bits and bobs in odd meters, uh, and I've came up with a really, really cool groove I like, 13-8 uh, for On Green Dolphin Street. Uh, and it's like, a, you can almost divide it in two, it's like a bar of seven and a bar of six, but so it comes out of 13-8. I've actually been writing quite a lot over the last few weeks, um, and I found I'm getting a, getting a set together uh, for a new project that I'm gonna try and start up, uh, and I'm gonna look to record in the next 18 months, I reckon. So yeah, probably gonna go with a septet, so I get a bit of the some juicy voicings going on and some nice grooves as well. So the next step, I suppose, is just finding a room section and jamming out these tunes. So that's going to be a little project perhaps for the next couple of weeks. So I'm en route to my one of my trumpet buddies, Jacob's birthday. I love a little pub uh, down on the canal. Uh, although I keep wandering around, finding some spots of cricket. Let's see if I can find some cricket to show you. bit more cricket. This one appears to be a bit more of a leisurely paced one. Oh, there's some runs. <laughs> start a really busy week this week I've got my full first full week of teaching lined up I hope you've all been practicing uh, so I've got a bunch of students this afternoon some more on Tuesday and Wednesday Thursday I'm gonna be doing the first session with this St Albans Music School big band on my hearts music service stuff my jazz teaching um, uh, Friday I've got a bit more teaching as well so it's gonna be a big week of students so lots of stuff to get done plenty of admin as well I heard back from that place I wrote off to for a gig and they were quite keen actually also got a couple of charts to write this week as well for some big band projects that I've got going on working with the Hearts Youth Jazz Ensemble later on this month uh, and we're gonna be doing a gig of Bernstein and beyond at the Hearts Jazz Festival, uh, which is the first weekend in October. We've got a rehearsal coming up for that at the end of the month. And yes, yeah, so I've got to get the charts done this week and off so they can get practicing them. Had loads of fun yesterday meeting up with loads of other musos for my buddy Jacob's birthday, which was really cool, really fun. Didn't end up getting much footage of the pub. Um, too much beer to be drunk uh, and yeah. But yeah, anyway, this afternoon, off to go do some teaching. So while that's brewing up, I thought I would share some ideas about getting back into your practice routines. I've had lots of students this week who are having their first lesson uh, for about eight weeks. We're just coming out of the summer holidays here, uh, just getting to September, so everyone's going back to school. So obviously, 
people have had a bit of time away from their horns. Which is okay, you know. Actually, sometimes when I've taken a holiday from playing, you come back refreshed and you come back with some different ideas and you come back really motivated and motivated to practice. But I thought it'd be quite good to share with you what I do once I've had a holiday for those comeback players of you or if you've had a little break from the horn. Here's a little routine that I find it takes 15 to 20 minutes and really gets your chops in shape after you've had a break. So for this routine, I use the Bible, the album book. This is just, this is a fairly new copy. Uh, I used to have the one with the red cover and it perished after a bit too much use. Uh, but they're all fairly same. Sometimes in the UK here we get uh, the one with the yellow cover. It's all got the same stuff in until you get to the back and it starts getting a bit different. But what we're using it for today is in the preparatory studies which is the very first section of his book. Uh, so I'll give you the numbers in the description below because the page numbers will probably vary depending on which edition you have and things like that. So off we go. So for these next ones, we're going to start at number 47. Uh, and this time I do tend to use a metronome. My metronome is going to be set on 113. There he is, 113. Again, depending on how much you want to get out and what you want to get out. If you really want to improve your stamina, try and do this next one, two, three, four, next five without taking the instrument off your face. Otherwise, feel free to take a, a gap. It'll probably take you between six and nine minutes to do this. Some of these are quite tricky to do in one breath and there's not a lot of obvious breathing points. So important to remember, keep a constant airflow. And if you have to stop and take a breath, then find a good place to start and restart. Try and keep that column of air constant though. <laughs> 